Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. The End of the World. The Beginning Became a Virtual One. Chapter 46. Inside the egg shell that exudes gleaming luster. The little lowly bit her fingers, her eyes gradually becoming aggrieved. Because the advanced creature in front of him actually ignored him. In her little mind, Yi Tianyuan should not accept her surrender at this moment and let her eat it. Air, a, a, a. Inside the egg shell, the little lowly began to make a sound, but the sound was obviously different from the sound made by the huge body. Yi Tianyuan. Ahem, host, she is saying that she is very capable. As long as you let her stay here, she can help you chase away the other bad guys and help you guard the white square. The system quickly started translating without waiting for Yi Tianyuan to speak. The thoughtful system is so simple and unpretentious. White. Squares. Yi Tianyuan's heart twitched slightly, even though he knew that he had no talent in architecture. But in front of a zombie little lowly. My masterpiece is called, White Square. Well, Yi Tianyuan is not going to worry about this with a zombie lowly. Yi Tianyuan's mind began to calm down quickly, and his eyes looked at the little lowly with a hint of expectation. This was the first time he encountered a first order creature. Even the corpse willow before was only level 0 and level 9, with half a foot in the category of first level. Moreover, because of the special growth of corpse willow. Therefore, Yi Tianyuan did not intend to use the other party as an experimental subject and then inject virtual power into it. Once the zombie willow grows, it will definitely turn an area into a dead zone. That's not what Yi Tianyuan wants to see. Therefore, Corpse Puppet Willow cannot be regarded as a qualified chess piece. But the carrion demon in front of her was different. This little lowly didn't have much intelligence, and she was quite strong, and she didn't have the brain-eating ability of the Corpse Willow. It is simply the most perfect experimental material at this stage. Especially after Yi Tianyuan had gone through the experiment of the Yingluan triplets. Coupled with the transformation of the source of evolution. He now has some experience in transforming living things into voids. Just do it. Yi Tianyuan didn't hesitate. In the cross star on the chest, Hogyoku emits a blue-black mysterious light, and along Yi Tianyuan's right hand, a faint black energy light ball gradually condenses. Although the black ball of light was not big, it was filled with the aura of killing, devouring, and chaos. This is virtual. A creature born to kill. Only Mano's Grande who successfully evolves to Vasto Lord level can escape this fate. E. Looking at Yi Tianyuan, he slowly sent the dark ball of light into the egg shell that protected him. The little zombie lowly had innocence and curiosity in her eyes. She stretched out her chubby little hand and actually touched the energy ball directly. Puff. Like a black bubble. After the energy ball was touched by the little Lolita, it immediately turned into a faint smoke and melted into the little zombie Lolita's body little by little. A. The little Loli was very puzzled by this scene, but there was a happy expression on her face, and Shu's power was perfectly integrated into the little Loli's body. His whole body began to emit a faint fluorescent light, and something seemed to be growing under his skin little by little. The little Loli's throat. A hollow hole as thin as a finger quietly appeared, and a pink exoskeleton like a princess dress spread out from the little lowly's body, completely covering her body. Even the egg shell wrapping the little lowly gradually turned pink. In the end, a pair of cute bones with green stripes on a white background completely covered up the little lowly's delicate and cute appearance. At this moment, the little zombie lowly is completely enveloped in a pink exoskeleton like a princess dress. It looks a little funny, but the energy fluctuations in her body are constantly rising in a short period of time. It has reached the level of level 1 and level 2. Success. Complete hollow, this is the breath of pure hollow. As for the changes in the zombie little Lolita, Yi Tianyuan carefully observed the whole process. Unlike the incomplete hollows of the three Yingluan sisters, the zombie little Loli actually perfectly integrated the power of the void, completely with the help of Yi Tianyuan evolved into a pure hollow. Moreover, Yi Tianyuan also discovered. The voids created by oneself seem to have some characteristics of their own. For example, the soul and the body are combined, and the types of voids have some hollow-like characteristics of skeletons. Ia, Ia, the little zombie lowly seemed very satisfied with her, new clothes, and kept making excited sounds. 
Regarding this, Yi Tianyuan also showed a smile in his heart. Go back. From today on, this area will be your hunting ground, but you are not allowed to go near the Bone City. Do you understand? Yi Tianyuan ordered to the zombie little Loli. After turning the zombie little Lolita into a virtual one, Yi Tianyuan was able to gradually understand the little Lolita's meaning by virtue of that special connection. And the little Loli can also understand what Yi Tianyuan means. Ia, the little Loli responded excitedly, and then the pink, big egg, was slowly taken back by the terrifying and huge body. Looking at the bloated, rotten appearance made of countless zombie bodies. Yi Tianyuan rubbed the temples of his skull and sighed sincerely. That little Loli is so eye-catching. This meat-like thing is really too eye-catching. But, Yi Tianyuan has seen the distant future, a little Lolita with a delicate and cute face. Beneath that extremely confusing appearance is a cold heart full of devouring desires. He was smiling at you a second ago. But the next moment. Maybe you have been buried under a bloody mouth. Yi Tianyuan understands very well. Whether it's a zombie or a void, the little Loli's cute and cute attitude is only for herself. Because he can suppress her, and now he has complete control over her life and death, and is her master. But when facing others, the violent and murderous will deep in the little Loli's heart will not be covered up at all. It's very much like the sickly little Loli in the anime. She smiles one second and stabs your heart with a knife the next. Second test, perfect. Special zombies, Hollow is obviously surprised when compared to humans. The reborn souls of zombies seem to be more easily transformed into voids. It seems that my original decision was quite wise. I did not place all the media on human beings. Of course, maybe the rank also has a certain influence on the transformation into a void. Yi Tianyuan murmured to himself, analyzing the gains from transforming the zombie Lolita into Hollows this time. I gained a good servant, and once again deepened my experience in transforming virtual beings. It can be considered a full harvest. Yi Tianyuan's wings shook, and his figure quickly disappeared from the spot. Comma. On top of the central white bone pillar. When Yu Wenyuan saw Yi Tianyuan's figure return quickly, her heart that had been holding her breath suddenly relaxed. Even though he knew how powerful Yi Tianyuan was, he couldn't suppress his inner worries. It's solved, that big guy may become a natural hazard in Bone City in the future. Yi Tianyuan said slightly mysteriously. Natural danger. Do you mean that the swamp formed by that big guy will become a natural barrier for Bone City? Mu Wenyuan understood this immediately and immediately thought of this. Yes, when its body becomes larger and larger, the swamp it forms when spread out can easily surround the Bone City. For the enemies of the Bone City, this is no different from a natural barrier. Yi Tianyuan said with a smile. Um, doesn't it stink a little too much? Mu Wenyuan suddenly thought of this question and asked with a strange expression. Yi Tianyuan. Yi Tianyuan was immediately embarrassed when three black lines appeared on his smooth skull and forehead. I only thought about the benefits and almost forgot such an important point. No, we must let the zombie lowly evolve and then eliminate this stench. Yi Tianyuan made a decision silently in his heart. And the problem is almost urgent. The zombie little Loli's terrifying appearance exudes the stench of decay all the time. Yi Tianyuan doesn't want to live under such influence, from now on, that is simply too terrifying. I will find a way to deal with the smell that guy gives off, but now, I need to catch a few big dogs and come back to guard the door. Yi Tianyuan said, Watchdog, it seems you don't need it. Mu Wenyuan looked outside the city. There were almost endless zombies, trying to rush in and surrounding the Bone City. She silently mourned the arrival of the watchdog. Under such a situation, guarding the door must be a kind of torture. Having to face the roaring zombies outside the gate every day, Mu Wenyuan felt shuddered just thinking about it. Don't worry, this is only temporary. The future Bone City will not be like this. Yi Tianyuan's eyes were filled with ghostly fire as he looked into the distance. Outside the Bone City, it is now almost indistinguishable from the primitive forest. After the white mist fell, the growth rate of plants increased again. I'm afraid it won't be long before the entire Bone City may be hidden in the lush forest. This is not just the case outside the Bone City, in fact, the entire world is now in this situation. 
It is as if everything is returning to its original state, and the law of the jungle once again becomes the core law of the world. However, this is all for Yi Tianyuan. No impact at all. Even if he is a predator of the weak, Yi Tianyuan is definitely the most ferocious predator. I'm going to catch those big dogs first. If you want to go down, just pat the pillar and they will send you down. Yi Tianyuan said mysteriously, and then the figure suddenly rose into the sky and gradually disappeared from Mu Wenyuan's eyes. Pat the pillar. Mu Wenyuan tried it curiously. Crack. Click. The sound of bones moving was heard, and a huge bone hand suddenly emerged from the white bone pillar under Mu Wenyuan. He spread his bone palm and stretched it in front of Mu Wenyuan, as if waiting for Mu Wenyuan to come up. Hey. Interesting. Mu Wenyuan's eyes suddenly lit up and her eyes became enthusiastic when looking at the bone pillar. It's like a little girl has found her favorite toy. Ever since, Mu Wenyuan used by Guju's bone palm as a jumping machine and had a great time. Kama, Yi Tianyuan's figure shuttled through the air at high speed. Based on the connection with Jin Yu, he quickly caught up with the wolves who were trying to escape. And at this time, Yi Tianyuan has already flown dozens of kilometers away from Bone City. Quack. Quack, Jin Yu excitedly settled on his master's shoulder and rubbed Yi Tianyuan's bone surface affectionately. Good boy, I'll reward you with delicious food when you go back. Yi Tianyuan gently patted Jin Yu's little head, and then set his eyes on the ground. There were 13 giant wolves in total, and the half-husky wolf king was the largest, more than 10 meters long. The rest are almost half the size of the wolf king. And at this moment, the wolves had almost no dignity at all. They lay lazily on the ground, sticking out their tongues, breathing heavily, and their whole bodies were trembling slightly. Obviously, in order to escape being hunted by Yi Tianyuan, led by the Wolf King, they had an exciting escape. Moreover, he still worked hard. Otherwise, he would not have fled dozens of kilometers in a short period of time. I have to say that these packs of wolves are really having a hard time. I originally planned to take advantage of Yi Tianyuan's bone city to be destroyed by zombies to pick up some bargains and see if there was any prey that could fill their stomachs. But in a blink of an eye, in the bone city, a terrifying skeleton appeared. The power it exuded was many times stronger than that of the Wolf King. The Wolf King gave in decisively and evacuated quickly with his men. The identities of predator and prey are instantly reversed. These originally proud wolves suffered a painful blow for the first time. It wasn't until he ran dozens of kilometers in one breath that the wolf king finally relaxed and started to rest with the pack of wolves. After all, after running for so long, it didn't see the terrifying skeleton catching up, so it began to feel relieved. However, what the wolves didn't know was the skeleton they were running from. At this moment, I am high in the sky, looking down at them. Under Yi Tianyuan's nose, the Wolf King is lying in the middle of the group of wolves, his tail wagging from time to time instead of being clamped tightly all the time. It seems that the husky bloodline is reflected in this guy. Yi Tianyuan showed a faint smile in his heart. The huge wings waved lightly, and a bone feather fell off, piercing the air and shooting out quickly. Sharp bone feathers roared over. Ouch. The Wolf King howled miserably, and his huge body jumped up in excitement his tail kept wagging, and he kept spinning on the ground in pain. The wolves suddenly became nervous when they saw this scene in front of them. A pair of faint eyes were constantly scanning the surroundings, and the hair all over his body began to stand on end. The pack of wolves stared eagerly, their sharp claws constantly scratching the ground. As long as there is the slightest movement, they will immediately jump up and tear the enemy in front of them into pieces. Unfortunately, their enemies come from the sky. This is a completely unequal battle for the wolves who cannot fly. Yi Tianyuan not only occupies the position of suppression, but also takes advantage of the geographical advantages. In such a situation, even if Yi Tianyuan is not as strong as the pack of wolves, he can still wear them to death slowly in the sky. Not to mention, Yi Tianyuan's strength far exceeds those of them, creatures that have not yet entered the first level. Ouch. After jumping around for a while, the Wolf King felt that the pain in his buttocks had subsided slightly. It turned its head tremblingly. I saw, on the butt covered by thick fur, there is a bone feather inserted three-thirds of the way into the flesh. The bright red blood was falling to the ground drop by drop. 
Ouch. The moment he saw the bone feather, the wolf king stiffened suddenly, and then his body began to tremble unnaturally. Then, the wolf king let out a howl. The entire wolf pack immediately exploded, and the wolves began to become restless. A pair of green eyes kept scanning the surroundings, but they did not find the terrifying skeleton. Call out. Another bone feather was shot out at a high speed, accurately hitting the other side of the wolf king's butt. Ouch. There was another earth-shattering howl. The wolf king's eyes were filled with grief, anger, and a little grievance at this moment. If you don't play like this, we recognize that you are strong. If you can't afford to offend me, why don't you run away? But now, you caught up with me, even if you didn't show up, you stabbed me in the butt, twice. This is too much. The wolves looked at the wolf king with blood flowing from his buttocks and two bone feathers inserted, and they suddenly became silent. Being smart, they quietly took two steps back and kept a certain distance from the wolf king. The wolves had sympathetic looks in their eyes, but their body reactions were honest. Since we have to endure the painful test, it's up to the great wolf king to bear it. The smart wolves have obviously realized one thing. That is, the opponent's target is the wolf king, and their subordinates are just subsidiary targets. Ever since, after maintaining a safe distance of dozens of meters from the wolf king, the group of wolves lay down on the ground obediently. They are deeply aware of the gap between their own strength and that of their enemies. Staying there honestly is the best option. Otherwise, once they anger the opponent, they will most likely be destroyed by the group. It's not that the wolves are not united, it's that the enemy is too powerful. For the continuation of the race, they can only bear the pain and watch the wolf king endure torture and suffer hardships. They silently swore in their hearts that one day they would have the strength to surpass the skeleton, and they would definitely avenge the wolf king. Ouch. The wolf king apparently noticed the retreat of the wolves and immediately let out a confused howl. At this moment, it doesn't look like a majestic wolf king, but rather like a husky that was beaten by its owner after making a mistake and suspected of having a dog. Aha! Uh -huh. Yi Tianyuan had no intention of continuing to play with the husky wolf, and instantly fell in front of the husky wolf from a high altitude. I'll give you two choices. First, become the watchdog of my bone city, and I will give you strength. Second, I will beat you into a husky and drag you back to be a watchdog. Yi Tianyuan spoke in a calm tone. He knew that with the wisdom of the husky in front of him, he should be able to understand what he said. After all, according to the origin of this group of wolves, they should be upgraded from the group of wolves in Tianyu City Zoo. I have been in contact with people for a long time in the past, but now that I have evolved, I should have no problem understanding human nature. Ouch. The wolf king was instantly furious, his big eyes full of unruly and arrogance, his mouth pouted, and his long fangs flashing coldly in the sun. Who is it? He is the leader of the wolf pack, the wolf king. The person in front of me actually wants it to take on the position of guarding the door. Can't stand it, absolutely can't stand it. This is the dignity of being a wolf king. Roar. Holding back the severe pain in his buttocks, the wolf king jumped up and bit Yi Tianyuan with his bloody mouth. Even if he is not his opponent, the wolf king must let the opponent know what the pride of the wolf clan is. Snapped. The crisp sound spread all around, and the wolves looked at the wolf king with unbearable eyes. The other party's originally handsome wolf face now had a long dark mark. And on the other side, Yi Tianyuan held the ink knife and stood quietly, as if he had done nothing. Ouch. The wolf king howled more and more angrily, and kept rubbing his face with his two front paws. The burning pain made him almost faint. The skeleton in front of him was really terrifying. It was obviously the first to attack. But in less than a blink of an eye, the man used the blade to slap his handsome wolf face hard, knocking him to the ground. It was so hateful. If you hit a person rather than slap someone in the face, wouldn't it be against the rules to hit a wolf? Seeing that the wolf king in front of him still had an unruly look in his eyes, Yi Tianyuan showed a sneer in his heart and raised the ink knife again. Crackling. Ouch. 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 Rhythmic beating sounds continued to come from the wolf king's thick body. Moreover, accompanied by the miserable wail of the wolf king, the wolves could not bear to watch and close their eyes. Half an hour later. Ouch. Woo. Woo. The husky lay half dead on the ground, with despair written all over his face. 
It was originally a handsome and majestic black and white giant wolf. At this moment, it has completely turned into a dark, coo, black pug, its eyes are dull, and it is lying on the ground without any movement. As for the pack of wolves next to them, they didn't even dare to take a breath. Afraid of the skeleton demon king, he turned his attention to them the next second. Their fur is not as thick as the king wolf, and they will probably run out of energy if they cannot withstand a few blows. The scene was extremely quiet for a while. All that was left was the extremely frustrated, woo, sound of the wolf king. During this half hour, I have to say that Yi Tianyuan admired this husky wolf. What's more, Yi Tianyuan didn't intend to kill this husky wolf. I just planned to subdue it, just like training a dog, taming the opponent. Although the method is a bit cruel. But Yi Tianyuan didn't use much force at all. He just made the other party feel the pain, and at the same time, he used the power of decay to rot all the white hair of the husky wolf into disgrace. But since the beating, the husky kept wailing from beginning to end, almost hoarse. If Yi Tianyuan doesn't stop, it won't stop talking. Yi Tianyuan even once wondered whether this wolf pack relied on competing with others to have the loudest voice to be able to hold the position of wolf king. It seems that we are not destined to be together anymore. He refused to give in even though he was beaten to death. He howled for a full half an hour. Yi Tianyuan's tone gradually turned cold. He didn't have much time to waste time with a husky. Anyway, there are still more than a dozen giant wolves around, so at worst, we need to spend some time to train a new wolf king. What Yi Tianyuan wants is a watchdog who can be loyal and surrender to him. As for whether it is strong or not, that is not very important. To put it bluntly, Yi Tianyuan just felt that he lacked a watchdog on a whim. In addition, the wolf king looked quite majestic, so he came up with this idea. But now, the other party seems to be very dishonest. Moreover, with the arrival of the zombie tide, the bone city continues to swallow zombies, and Yi Tianyuan has accumulated a large amount of evolution points in his pocket. Now he only needs to spend a little time to directly evolve into the first third level creature in the world. Therefore, Yi Tianyuan does not intend to waste time with Hu Shilong. As if feeling the coldness of Yi Tianyuan's tone, Hu Shilong didn't know where he got the strength. He suddenly stood up, his straight limbs bent, as if he was kneeling in front of Yi Tianyuan. Ouch, ouch. Low howls kept coming from his mouth, and there were tears dripping from his eyes, feeling aggrieved like a child weighing more than a thousand kilograms. Yi Tianyuan. Could it be that? System, this stupid wolf, the meaning of howling before was not to beg for mercy, right? Yi Tianyuan asked with some embarrassment in his heart. Yes, this guy has been begging for mercy since the minute he was beaten. I know that host, you must have beaten him for half an hour just to refresh his memory. The system said innocently. Yi Tianyuan. Did you really guess wrong? If I had known that this guy was so inexperienced, why would I have wasted half an hour here? Ahem, what about that? Since you sincerely want to follow me, I reluctantly agree to it. From today on, you will be the watchdog of my bone city. Yi Tianyuan coughed twice and said with dignity. Looking at the dark husky wolf in front of him, even he felt a little miserable. Wu. Hearing these words, husband's eyes suddenly filled with tears. Oh my god, has the demon in front of me finally let him go and stopped tormenting him. After begging for mercy for nearly half an hour, the skeleton demon did not stop and tortured himself cruelly. Now, it's finally over. The husky swore that he had never had such a strong desire to become a qualified guard dog. But what it doesn't know is. It only took one minute of beating to end the pain. Because of the language barrier, Yi Tianyuan was beaten for half an hour. Yi Tianyuan obviously would not tell it this. Otherwise, Yi Tianyuan was worried that the husky's little heart might not be able to bear it and he would be so angry that he would lose such an excellent watchdog in vain. Xiaohei carried Yi Tianyuan on his head and led the wolves on the way back to Bone City. As for, Xiaohei, it is the wolf king of the wolf pack, named by Yi Tianyuan himself. Although Xiaohei repeatedly stated that he did not like this name, under Yi Tianyuan's friendly and cordial communication, he finally got it. Xiaohei immediately agreed to the name, even though his tail was drooping and his eyes were extremely dark. But Yi Tianyuan still felt that Xiaohei deeply liked this name. The pack of wolves following Xiaohei were trembling, 
but they were secretly glad that Yi Tianyuan had no intention of naming them. Otherwise, just thinking about that scene would make the wolves shudder. A group of majestic giant wolves, when they call out their names, they are Xiao Hei, Xiao Bai, A Wa. It's simply daunting, same as Golden Feather. With the help of the system, Yi Tianyuan easily recognized Xiao Hei as his master, and then the entire wolf pack naturally became Yi Tianyuan's dependents. After there are no hidden dangers, Yi Tianyuan, who was sitting cross-legged on Xiao Hei's head, began to silently communicate in his heart. He is ready to start promoting to the third level. Host, the current evolution points are 264,350 points. Upgrading to the third level requires 250,000 evolution points. Do you want to advance? The system's beat sounded in Yi Tianyuan's mind. Since the zombie wave attacked the Bone City, more than 10,000 zombies have been devoured by the Bone City, providing Yi Tianyuan with a large number of evolution points. But, just to evolve to a third level creature, the evolution points needed to evolve are 10 times that of a second level creature. When Yi Tianyuan saw this number for the first time, he was also confused. I even thought for a while that the system wanted to cheat my own evolution point. But the fact is, it really requires so much, and there is no fakery at all. The system is completely unable to violate Yi Tianyuan's will, which he has known for a long time. And the reason why a hundred times the evolution points are needed. The system also provides an explanation. Yi Tianyuan is not like ordinary zombies. It only requires a small amount of evolution source to evolve. His foundation is too strong, whether it is the ability to decay, high-speed regeneration, or immortal bones. Each one is an extremely powerful special ability. As these abilities grow with their own levels, the resources they need will naturally become more terrifying. Plus, the third level is a special watershed. If you want to naturally grow to the third level, you need a huge source of evolution as support. Not to mention a special existence like Yi Tianyuan. It can be said that the third level is the real starting point, the door to the extraordinary and holy realm. According to the system description, once you enter the third level, the energy in your body will increase dramatically. The previously built Bone City consumed 10,000 evolution points. But if Yi Tianyuan becomes a third level creature and creates a first level Bone City, it will be a piece of cake. It can be easily completed without any help from the system. The most important thing is. The system told Yi Tianyuan a very important news. Hawaiko Mundo. Among Shinigami, hollows usually live within the Hawaiko Mundo, where no one can spy on their existence. It can be said that Hawaiko Mundo is the best shelter in the world. But in the world of Yi Tianyuan, there is no special space like Hawaiko Mundo. But. The system told Yi Tianyuan that as long as Yi Tianyuan evolves to the third level, he can use the evolution points to develop a Hawaiko Mundo that is completely under his control. Although the Hawaiko Mundo developed may be very small, perhaps only as big as a house or as big as a villa. But this is enough for Yi Tianyuan. The existence of Hawaiko Mundo has more strategic significance, and it actually has little effect on Yi Tianyuan itself. But for Yi Tianyuan's men, it is very important. Yi Tianyuan's own combat power will definitely always be at the forefront of the world, and others will not be able to catch up even if they just flatter him. But he turned him into a virtual person and took him as a servant. For example, the triplets and the white devil. Although they also have considerable talents, it is difficult to say with certainty. Who knows whether they will encounter a pervert like Corpse Willow. At this time, the meaning of Hawaiko Mundo's existence comes out. A special space that only Hollow can open, although in the anime, Shinigami also opens it. But there is no such creature as Shinigami in this world. For Yi Tianyuan, Hawaiko Mundo is like a refuge for his subordinates. When he can't defeat him, he can just crawl inside and nothing will happen. What about dignity? Yi Tianyuan doesn't think there's anything wrong with running away. If you can't beat him and you insist on going up to him to die, that's just a fool's errand. This is not like what is shown in novels or anime. Whoever has a louder voice, roars harder, or relies on willpower can make a comeback and kill the opponent. Yi Tianyuan is now a hollow, and it is also a hollow that has experienced two evolutions. He already has a deep understanding of power. The level is like a chasm. If you want to cross the level to kill the enemy, 
you can only do it if you or a group of creatures like the night crows. Otherwise, it would be impossible to kill the enemy beyond the rank. Unless the other person doesn't want to live anymore, let you hack him to death. Then there are the levels in the ranks, there are 9 levels in total, and each time you increase one level, your strength will increase a lot. But this level can be supplemented by special abilities, combat experience, etc. The difference between levels is nothing, at most it is just a slight difference in the amount of energy in the body. Rank, however, is a gap in quality that cannot be made up. Yi Tianyuan still values his servants very much and does not hope that they will die easily. After all, those are half Shu and Shu transformed by Yi Tianyuan himself, and they can be regarded as one of his own. As for those guys affected by the Gai plan, they can only be regarded as Yi Tianyuan's rations, or tool men. Everything is just a means for Yi Tianyuan to make further progress and lay some secret moves. Even after Yi Tianyuan was promoted to the third level, he may also launch a more ambitious, unification, plan. Tianyu city alone is obviously not enough. The number of seeds is naturally better. At that time, after true unification, that seed will be able to bear the most perfect fruit. The medium created by Yi Tianyuan will become an invisible giant hand, secretly controlling the fate of some creatures. No one can detect it, and no one can resist it. Just like a shepherd, after fattening the sheep, he kills whichever one he wants to eat. Comma. Let's get started, I can't wait to be promoted to a third level creature. Yi Tianyuan's eyes were burning with ghost fire, and he sat on Xiao Hei's head, no longer making the slightest move. Xiao Hei, who was carrying Yi Tianyuan, had already received Yi Tianyuan's signal and was running smoothly. Hei already knew that Yi Tianyuan was about to advance, so he deliberately slowed down. The blue-black halo gradually enveloped Yi Tianyuan's body. On the bones of Yi Tianyuan's body, countless inscriptions began to exude a faint luster. His bones were like the most flawless jade at this moment, glowing slowly. The golden feather on Yi Tianyuan's shoulder has already fallen to the side of Xiao Hei's head. Looking at Yi Tianyuan now, his little eyes are full of joy. It can feel that the aura in Yi Tianyuan's body is constantly growing. As a pet, it is naturally filled with joy due to the strength of its owner. Xiao Hei, take the wolves and stay away. Jin Yu, you too. Suddenly, Yi Tianyuan's deep voice emerged. Xiao Hei, who was still running with Yi Tianyuan, suddenly stopped and the wolves dispersed in an instant. Jin Yu obediently flew aside and waited quietly. Xiao Hei, on the other hand, slowly squatted down and carefully placed Yi Tianyuan on the ground before turning around and running away. After leading the pack of wolves and standing a hundred meters away from Yi Tianyuan, the fear in Xiao Hei's heart eased slightly. At the moment Yi Tianyuan opened his mouth just now, only Xiao Hei, who was carrying Yi Tianyuan on his back, knew what a terrifying power it was that was condensing in the body of the master on his head. A terrifying force that seems to swallow up all life and cause everything to rot and decay. A manic and explosive, but ever-growing, immortal flame. The round and jade-like bones are actually filled with unrivaled sharpness, like an indestructible divine sword. There is even a mysterious power that seems to be brewing. Several special abilities, just a little aura, made the fur all over Xiao Hei's body begin to explode. Fortunately, Yi Tianyuan controlled it in time. Otherwise, it is estimated that Xiao Hei, Jin Yu, and the pack of wolves have probably turned into a pile of withered bones. Yi Tianyuan is about to be promoted to the third level. The energy in his body is growing like a volcanic eruption, and he is about to pour out a surge of power. It seems like a certain boundary has been crossed between the second level and the third level. The ever-expanding power is looking for an outpouring. This is the necessary stage to advance to the third level, pour out the power, and then gradually control it to adapt to the power of the third level. But what Yi Tianyuan didn't expect was. The promotion to the third level is different from the second level. When he was promoted to the second level, he only improved Yi Tianyuan's basic ability as a hollow, high-speed regeneration, and his natural ability, a mortal bone. One is basic recovery, and the other is physical strength. The abilities of decay, as well as fire, are not enhanced by Yi Tianyuan without the use of evolution points. There is no improvement at all. However, when Yi Tianyuan was promoted to the third level, 
Whether it was his body or his own abilities, he felt all round sublimation. Roar. Yi Tianyuan let out an inhuman roar, and the sound waves penetrated the clouds in the sky. A black horn, like ink jade, sprouted from Yi Tianyuan's forehead. It was surrounded by thunder and made a heart stopping, sizzling sound. Immediately afterwards, dark mist instantly filled out from Yi Tianyuan's body, covering an area of 100 meters in radius. At that moment the dark mist appeared. The ground that was originally green and grassy suddenly became decayed. The grass decayed and turned into ash, the earth dried up and cracked, gradually turning into a desert. The surrounding forest also turned into ashes in just a few seconds. Under the black mist, except for Yi Tianyuan, everything turned into deathly silence, and everything was silent. Gudong. Xiao He swallowed hard, his green eyes full of horror, and his heart full of fear. This would have been if Yi Tianyuan had failed to control it just now. I'm afraid that this handsome husky should be nothing more than a skeleton now, right? Not only Xiao He, but also the wolves looked at Yi Tianyuan in a secretive way. They now respect this master from the bottom of their hearts. The weak surrender to the strong, this is an iron rule in nature. The dark mist full of decay gradually dissipated, and at this moment, within a hundred meters of Yi Tianyuan, it was completely a dead place. But, this is not over yet. Boom. A bursting and manic sound came from Yi Tianyuan's body. Almost instantly. The extremely blazing high temperature swept through the surroundings instantly, and the air became distorted under the terrifying temperature. Boundless flames spread out from Yi Tianyuan's body and turned into a sea of fire, melting all combustible and non-combustible things into ashes. At the same time, the new black jade horn on Yi Tianyuan's forehead also began to scream with terror. It was originally just a subtle flash of electricity. But now, countless wildly dancing thunder snakes have spread out, rushing towards the sky, then suddenly turning around and slamming into the ground. Boom. Taking Yi Tianyuan as the origin, the thick thunder snake flashed continuously and spread to all directions. The originally charred land was left with thrilling traces. Sea of fire and thunder, two powerful forces gathered in one person's body. If anyone knew about it, they would definitely be extremely jealous. Click. Click. It sounded like the sound of breaking eggshells. Xiao Hei and Jin Yu's eyes suddenly panicked, looking at Yi Tianyuan in disbelief. I saw. Dark cracks appeared constantly on Yi Tianyuan's body. Quack. Quack. Ouch. Jin Yu and Xiao Hei suddenly shouted anxiously, their eyes full of worry. They couldn't believe it. The master who was so powerful just now could actually have his body cracked. Even the indestructible bones are damaged. Click. The broken sounds continued, not stopping at all because of the two pets' worries. Finally. Wow. Yi Tianyuan's body was completely cracked like broken ceramics, and countless bone fragments fell out. But, what fell off was just a layer of bone fragments on the surface, like a snake shedding its skin. Revealed inside, Yi Tianyuan's new bones are as bright as divine jade, making people feel awe from the bottom of their hearts. The powerful and terrifying aura began to gradually become restrained until it dissipated, and the divine light on the bones slowly dissipated. Within the cross star, Hogyoku no longer emits a blue-black halo. Advanced, completed, Hachi, Hachi, Xiaohei was breathing heavily, with a hint of resentment in his eyes. The master's advancement was so exciting that both his and Jin Yu's hearts were in their throats. Fortunately, there were no surprises. Ka, Ka. Yi Tianyuan slowly stood up, the dark flames in his eyes becoming more and more mysterious and strange. How could this happen? You didn't actively evolve, but you also gained an additional ability. Yi Tianyuan murmured lowly. Xiao Hei and Jin Yu on the side stopped immediately when they saw Yi Tianyuan's confused look and did not come forward to disturb him. Yi Tianyuan at this time. The ink jade horn on his forehead was flashing with a faint thunder light all the time as if the terrifying power of thunder would destroy everything in front of him in the next moment. Even the two huge bone wings behind Yi Tianyuan had countless thunder patterns on them. With the assistance of the mysterious thunder pattern, Yi Tianyuan can burst out with extremely terrifying speed, achieving true lightning speed. Now he is like Shira in the human world, strange and terrifying. But, his heart was not so comfortable at the moment. 
Gaining new power did not make Yi Tianyuan feel any happy, but instead gave rise to endless doubts. System, why did I give birth to the power to control thunder even though I didn't choose to evolve new abilities? Yi Tianyuan asked in his heart. Host, this question is related to the promotion to the third level. The third level is the most important basic stage. Once promoted to the third level, many incredible changes will occur. The birth of an ability is not impossible, although it is indeed a bit unscientific for a host who has Hogyoku and can evolve at will. Then there is only one explanation left. The sound of the system paused slightly for a moment. What explanation? Yi Tianyuan's heart moved slightly, and the dark flames in his eyes kept jumping. The ink knife on his waist was trembling slightly at the moment, seeming to resonate with Yi Tianyuan's soul. An answer loomed in Yi Tianyuan's mind. Host, what you really want in your heart is your desire to become the king who dominates everything. You long to have everything in your own hands, and long to ascend to the throne of heaven. So, new power is born, and even your knife has begun to give birth to your real power. Perhaps, for some people, ability is more important than finesse, but for you who have Hogyoku and great ambition, this sentence cannot limit you. Hogyoku felt your truest ambition, so when he was promoted to the third level, a brand new power of thunder was born. After continuous analysis, the system finally gave this answer. After Yi Tianyuan heard this, the will-o'-the-wisps in his eyes seemed to burst out, burning fiercely. Buzzing. The ink knife kept trembling, as if it felt the master's thoughts. Within the black ink blade, a terrifying power was gestating. That power was born when Hogyoku embodied Yi Tianyuan's truest intention. It was similar to Zanpakuto's power, but more powerful and weird. Just the pregnancy stage can make people feel endless depression and fear. Become the master who controls everything, ha ha ha. Yi Tianyuan laughed wildly, and the unhappiness in his heart disappeared. A terrifying aura filled the air from his body, oppressing all directions. Xiao Hei, Jin Yu and others all knelt on the ground under this terrifying momentum. Their eyes flashed with fanaticism. The master's power is simply despairing. But it is precisely this kind of existence that can become their master and stand at the top of the world. Yi Tianyuan held the ink knife in front of him, and gently stroked the blade with his bony palm. The ink knife made a crisp sound, and Yi Tianyuan felt a joyful will pass to him from the ink knife. Roar. Hoarse roars kept coming from all directions. Rotting and stinking zombies came after hearing the big noise caused by Yi Tianyuan's advancement. In just a short time, thousands of zombies have gathered. Ouch. Xiao Hei immediately let out a wolf howl when he saw the group of corpses that were constantly besieging him. The wolves immediately sharpened their teeth and claws, planning to launch a fierce attack on the group of corpses. Don't move, let me try my newfound power. Yi Tianyuan stopped Xiao Hei and the wolves, and the black jade horn on his forehead suddenly bloomed with light blue thunder, spreading out countless thunder snakes. Yi Tianyuan pounced on the corpses from the horn on his forehead. Zitsa. The heart stopping sound of electricity continued to be heard and countless thunder snakes were like sharp war spears among the corpses, penetrating everything. Just a brief bombardment turned the zombie into a pile of dry carbon. Thousands of zombies were wiped out by Yi Tianyuan's thunder snake in an instant. Countless charred corpses that looked like dry carbon fell to the ground, emitting a strange stench. Not bad ability, maybe, you can also use celestial phenomena. Yi Tianyuan raised his head slightly and looked at the sky. The sky was clear and cloudless. Uh huh. Countless weak electric currents filled the surface of his body, and his figure turned into a beam of light blue light and disappeared in an instant. In the sky, Yi Tianyuan's voice came faintly. I'll take the first step, and you guys will rush back to Bone City immediately. Xiao Hei. Jin Yu. The dog and the bird looked at each other, ready to cry. They never expected that their master would drop them, and he would get out of the way first. Especially Jin Yu's little eyes were full of resentment. To know, as the most beloved cub of his owner, Yi Tianyuan used to let Jin Yu fall on his shoulders and fly with him. But now, the master has abandoned him and run away. Jin Yu landed on Xiao Hei's head aggrievedly. After returning, he decided not to leave his master for a moment. Xiao Hei, can't you fly back by yourself? What does it mean to fall on top of my head? Isn't this bullying a dog? 
Xiao He has completely assumed the role of watchdog and cannot extricate himself. Finally, Xiao He helplessly let Jin Yu lie on top of him and ran towards the Bone City. Comma, outside Bone City, the swamp formed by the Carrion Demon has almost covered an area of nearly a kilometer in radius. The strange black liquid was constantly bubbling, and in the liquid were countless broken limbs and broken arms, as well as rotten and ferocious zombie heads. Within a short period of time, not only is the Bone City growing rapidly, the Carrion Demon is also growing at a terrifying rate because of Yi Tianyuan's influence. If Yi Tianyuan calls up the other party's data panel, he will be surprised to find that the Carrion Demon is already a first level and third level creature at this moment. He has grown to three levels in a short period of time. Apart from Yi Tianyuan, only special zombies like the Carrion Demon can do this. A beam of blue lightning fell from the sky and landed on the central bone pillar of the Bone City. Looking at the Bone City, which had almost expanded by nearly one-third, Yi Tianyuan felt a trace of satisfaction in his heart. The growth rate of Bone City is compared to myself who uses evolution points to continuously advance. That is definitely incomparable. After all, Bone City only eats the flesh, flesh and bodies of zombies and uses them to grow itself. The most precious thing inside the zombie body is the white crystal of the source of evolution. The first level Bone City is not strong enough to complete my vision. Once the second level Bone City is promoted to the second level, I can turn it into a mobile city and let its footprints spread all over the world. Corner. By then, hunting zombies will also become easier. Yi Tianyuan looked at the gradually decreasing number of zombies outside the city wall and muttered to himself. The population around the villa area is not very dense, so the number of zombies is not that scary. In addition, they continued to gather near the Bone City, and were then devoured continuously. Now, the density of zombies is far less than when the zombie wave first arrived. And this is why Yi Tianyuan wants to transform Bone City into a moving castle. When the time comes, wouldn't it be a pleasure for the Bone City to carry Yi Tianyuan around, taking the initiative to burrow into areas densely populated by zombies? Keeping this thought in mind, Yi Tianyuan opened his bone palm slightly. The ability of Bone City was activated, and the bone palm pressed on the bone pillar. Rumble, quack, quack, the violent sound caused the cries of countless night crows in the villa area. In an instant, the night crows scattered in all directions and turned into a shadow, shrouding the sky above Bone City. Only, after seeing Yi Tianyuan above the bone pillar, the crows chirping suddenly changed from alertness to excitement. In Yi Tianyuan's villa, Mu Wenyuan was startled by the loud sound and looked up. After spotting that familiar figure, he lay down on the bed obediently. Hmm. This middle school girl, because she used the bone palm of the white bone pillar as a jumping machine, had so much fun that she caught a cold. There was no other way, Mu Wenyuan could only reluctantly give up the idea of continuing to play, return to the villa, and lay lazily on the bed. Have to say, the coming of the apocalypse has made life boring for ordinary people like Mu Wenyuan. There are endless crises outside, and if you don't pay attention, you may die. And in the safe bone city, it is obvious that it is no longer as colorful as it once was. All kinds of electronic equipment have failed, and even wanting to play games and relax has become a fantasy. What are you doing Xiao Yi? Mu Wenyuan curiously followed the window and looked at the top of the white bone pillar. With Yi Tianyuan's ability activated, the top of the white bone pillar once again split into countless bones that were as smooth as jade. These bones continued to divide and spread, and then began to build what looked like a castle. Different from the pale and gloomy Bone City, Yi Tianyuan built a castle on the dome of the Bone City. Smooth and clean as jade, without a trace of the gloominess of bones, it looks simple and noble. A few minutes passed, and a majestic castle with a more modern style stood on the dome of the Bone City. On a big mountain three kilometers away from Bone City, Yu Wenfei, What's going on? Why are you talking? Why are you standing there like this? Next to you Wenfei, a man with a resolute face and wearing a green camouflage uniform asked. Yes, Fei, you should tell me what is going on in that bone city now. Zhu Zhiping was also a little anxious. The two of them did not notice that Yu Wenfei's face was extremely pale at this moment, and his whole body was trembling slightly. 
In front of Yu Wenfei's eyes, a telescope modified by him was held in his hand, observing every move of the bone city in the distance. I saw, saw that guy. After a while, Yu Wenfei finally came to his senses and spoke almost tremblingly. His eyes were filled with fear. That nightmare-like figure was actually only about three kilometers away from him. Yu Wenfei regretted a little. He felt that he should not have accepted the invitation from the Human Federation military and joined it. As a result, who is he going to test now? This is simply a move to seek death. At this moment, Yu Wenfei's mind kept recalling the scene where that figure slaughtered countless zombies and strange willow trees in the center of the city. That kind of power is simply not something that little shrimps like them can afford. That guy. What's going on, Yu Wenfei? I need you to give me a perfect explanation. Tilin, a man in military uniform with a resolute face, said solemnly. Yu Wenfei, this guy was attracted by him because of his mechanical ability and was pulled into the team. Now he is in such a miserable state that he doesn't even have the courage to face an imaginary enemy. This couldn't help but make Tilin a little disappointed. If it weren't for the other party's ability, it would be very important to the Human Federation. I'm afraid he would have just ignored Yu Wenfei, left alone, and started taking action. Listen to me, it's too urgent to evacuate now. Once that guy really notices it, it will be too late. Yu Wenfei ignored the contempt in Tilin's eyes and spoke solemnly. Zhu Zhiping on the side noticed something, his expression changed slightly, and he asked. Is it Lord Bone Angel? Ah Fei, is it really him? Listening to Zhu Zhiping's words, Tilin looked confused again. What the hell is the Bone Angel? In addition to zombies, aren't there upgraded beasts in this world? Of course, there are also some special mutated zombies, etc., which are called alien species by the Human Federation. But the Bone Angel thing seems to have nothing to do with these, right? It's more like an existence in myths and legends. Zhu Zhiping, tell me what is going on with this Bone Angel? Tilin asked. When Zhu Zhiping talked about the Bone Angel, he seemed to open up a chatterbox and started talking nonstop. In his verbal description, Yi Tianyuan became the savior in the last days, the savior of mankind. He was born to eliminate evil and kill evil creatures like zombies. It was his presence that allowed the large number of survivors in the urban center to survive. As Zhu Zhiping continued to describe, Tilin's expression also gradually changed. From calmness at first, to slight surprise, to shock, to incredulity. At this time, Yu Wenfei also spoke. Don't think about being an enemy of that person. This is simply a matter of seeking death. Even if it is the Human Federation, to put it bluntly, I don't think they can really deal with him. Yu Wenfei's words were very straightforward, which made Tilin frown slightly. But this time, Tilin did not reprimand Yu Wenfei. You know, as the elite of the military, the evolver in the apocalypse. Tilin didn't like the word, cowardice, at all, and retreating without fighting would never happen to him. But this time, Tilin rarely suppressed the grievance in his heart and had no intention of blaming and reprimanding Yu Wenfei. All the reasons lie in the so-called, Bone Angel. As the Magic City military headquarters, they spent some money to send him to Tilin from Tianyu City. He not only possesses the pride and courage of a warrior. He is also a smart person, a person who can see the situation clearly. According to Zhu Zhiping's description, he summarized three key points. First, the Bone Angel came to the center of the city, presumably to kill zombies because he wanted to obtain the Crystal of Evolution, the name of the Human Federation. Second, a terrifying flock of crows has been subdued by the so-called Bone Angel, and its strength is very likely to increase significantly. Third, there is a strange willow tree in the center of the city. It is so powerful that it can even control zombies, zombie puppets, but in the end it died at the hands of the Bone Angel, and it was very easy. The three points that Tilin summarized are exactly what Yi Tianyuan did in the center of the city. Moreover, these three things can prove something. In the end, Tilin came to the conclusion. The strength of the Bone Angel is unfathomable, and its level of evolution is definitely far beyond that of humans at this stage. However, the other party did not seem to be hostile to humans and did not kill humans wantonly. Faced with such an existence, Tilin is not stupid and will not choose to commit suicide foolishly. In fact, Tilin felt that what Yu Wenfei said was not wrong at all. 
As an evolver, he knows his strength and his position. It is no exaggeration to say that Teelan can easily crush dozens of evolvers of the same level with his own abilities. He can be called the best of the best. And this was one of the reasons why he was sent to perform this mission. Sigh. I don't know whether this is a disaster or a blessing. After being silent for a long time, Teelan sighed helplessly, his eyes a little confused. He didn't know whether his mission was a success. Or failed. To say that he failed, he had enough understanding of the imaginary enemy. It can be said that he succeeded, he has never even formally met the imaginary enemy. The information was obtained entirely based on Yu Wenfei's special telescope observation in Zhu Zhiping's dictation. And the most important thing is, he also doesn't have the ability to cross the tide of corpses, enter the Bone City, and then communicate with the other party. This was what annoyed him the most. As an elite in the military, there is no such word as timid in his heart. Even though he knew how powerful the Bone Angel was, Tilan still had the courage to talk to him. Of course, it's just a conversation, not an enemy. In fact, if possible, what he hopes more is to win over the other party, no matter how bad he is, he cannot be his enemy. Otherwise, it will definitely cause huge losses to the human federation that are probably irreparable. Even, Tilan didn't dare to think about it. Even he would be frightened by such a scene. Captain Tilan, it's up to you to decide what to do now. Although I, you and Fei, have little ambition, I joined you and I know the rules. Yu Wenfei spoke again, but this time, he said this. Tilan glanced at the other party in surprise, a hint of appreciation flashed in his eyes, and he thought silently. This guy who just joined the team not long ago may be a good prospect. This mission ends here. I will report the truth to my superiors and put the so-called, Bone Angel, on the taboo list. Tilan said seriously and expressed his thoughts. Hearing this, Yu Wenfei and Zhu Zhiping looked at each other and breathed a sigh of relief. They were afraid that their newly recognized superior would be too stubborn to pry and provoke the Bone Angel, which would be really hard to handle. Fortunately, Tilan, this superior, is quite reliable. I won't do that kind of nonsense, knowing that there are tigers in the mountains, but preferring to go to the tiger mountains. In this case, let's leave quickly. I really don't want to stay here for a moment, I swear. I sincerely hope that this is the last time I see him. Yu Wenfei said solemnly, and even bowed to the sky, as if this would be effective. Only, the next second, Yu Wenfei just put down his clasped hands and opened his eyes. His face instantly turned the color of pig liver, and his cheeks that were still visible turned into the shape of a bitter melon. God, are you kidding me? I will never trust you again. Yu Wenfei felt like crying but had no tears in his heart. Looking at that breathtaking figure in the sky, a terrifying pressure descended. Yu Wenfei felt that he couldn't even move a finger. Tilin and Zhu Zhiping's expressions also changed drastically. Under the sudden terrifying pressure, the two of them showed completely different expressions. Zhu Zhiping's eyes were full of fanaticism, with no sense of crisis at all. In his subconscious mind, he recognized Yi Tianyuan as a savior, worthy of his faith and respect. As for Tilin, his face was full of shock. As an elite and powerful member of the military, he was unable to even move under the pressure of the opponent. What level of evolution is this? We are still in the initial stage. I'm afraid he has already arrived at the designated location. Tilin felt extremely bitter. As an elite member of the military, he still has a bit of pride in his heart. But now, he was severely beaten. He can feel it. The difference between oneself and the other party is simply like that between ants and gods, there is no comparison. After originally building his own palace, Yi Tianyuan also plans to continue repairing and improving it to make the palace look more refined and perfect. But soon, a familiar connection continued to approach from the southeast until it stopped at a distance of about 3 kilometers. Subsequently, Yi Tianyuan felt the sense of peeping from that direction. Having already reached the third level, his senses are even better than before. Even if he was spying from such a long distance, he could still sense it easily. And, that familiar connection couldn't be severed. Even at a distance of three kilometers, Yi Tianyuan knew exactly what it was. Medium. Yi Tianyuan uses the source of evolution to create the medium himself. It gives people the possibility of transforming into hollows. The effect of, 
443, is violent and extremely aggressive. If you are not careful, you will die. Once it is completely integrated into the body, it survives. You can have virtual power. But, at the same time, his life will also be controlled by Yi Tianyuan. The humans who came this time had two such media in their bodies. Ever since, Yi Tianyuan's figure moved and turned into a blue thunder light, appearing above the heads of the three humans in almost the blink of an eye. After restraining his breath, he quietly observed the three people. Zhu Zhiping's description of himself and Tilin's opinion of himself were all picked up by Yi Kaiyuan, it seems that Yazi has no ears. Human Federation the appearance of Tilin reminded Yi Tianyuan of this force. Before the end of the world has come, one of the most powerful forces in the world controls more than half of the world's territory. It's just that the end of the world is coming. I'm afraid that even if this force responds promptly, it will suffer heavy losses. However, the Human Federation actually sent people to inquire about him. This made Yi Tianyuan secretly feel wary. In the apocalypse, electronic instruments can no longer be used, and Yi Tianyuan is well aware of this. However, humans unexpectedly noticed themselves so quickly, and even sent elites from the military to inquire about the news. The information hidden in this is not unimportant. Although I don't know which area of the Human Federation this military guy comes from. However, what Yi Tianyuan is sure of is that there is already somewhere that has temporarily put an end to the zombie scourge and the strength of that place should be very good, otherwise there shouldn't be any time to care about yourself now. Yi Tianyuan's figure slowly descended from the sky, and the terrifying pressure gradually dissipated. And at this time, only then were the three Tilin men able to raise their heads and observe the so-called, Bone Angel, head on. The jade-like bones were faintly glowing with divine light, and terrifying razor-like barbs could be seen everywhere on the skeleton's body. Sharp bone claws, wings that look like a combination of devil and angel, with light blue lines. And the bone feathers, which were like small swords, shone coldly in the sunlight. Obviously, these wings are not simply used for flying, they can also release fatal damage. The strange bone surface with black lines on a white background, and the faint will o the wisp burning in the eye sockets, seem to pull the human soul into it and endure endless calcining torture. On the forehead bone, there is a dragon-like black jade horn, and there is a faint flash of lightning on the horn. Shira of bones. These few words arose spontaneously in Tilan's heart and could not be erased. Where is this bone angel? It is clearly a Shira of bones born for fighting and killing. That terrifying and frightening body all revealed a fatal threat. Even if he uses his special ability, Tilan doesn't want to try to fight in close combat with such a body. I'm afraid that in just an instant, my body will become riddled with holes. Tilan believed that the Shira of bones in front of him could definitely do this easily. The bones that seemed as round as jade looked as delicate and perfect as ceramics. But Tilan knew that beneath that perfect appearance was an indestructible edge and unparalleled defense. And these are not the most terrifying. Tilan's eyes quickly moved to the opponent's waist, the knife attached to it. The bone handle and the blade as black as ink seemed to swallow up all the light, making people sink. Looking at the knife, Tilan's body began to tremble slightly, as if his body was out of control. As an elite in the military, Tilan has received the most rigorous training, and can be said to have perfect control over every inch of muscle in his body. But now, his body was shaking uncontrollably. That is the biological instinct, the fear of great terror. That sword is definitely an extremely terrifying weapon. The power contained in it can easily destroy Tianyu City, right? Tilan thought with horror in his heart, and the cold sweat on his forehead continued to overflow, and he bit his tongue fiercely to calm himself down. Yu Wenfei on the side was even more unbearable. After seeing Yi Tianyuan's true form so closely, he fell straight to the ground and passed out. Judging from the trembling body, Tilan judged that this guy must be faking it. Although the existence in front of me is extremely terrifying. But Yu Wenfei is also an evolver after all, so he can't be so miserable. As for Zhu Zhiping, among these three people, he is the only ordinary person. His strong understanding of Yi Tianyuan comes entirely from Yi Tianyuan's past actions. Zhu Zhiping actually knows very little about the real horror of Yi Tianyuan 1.3. However, this cannot stop Zhu Zhiping's crazy respect for Yi Tianyuan. 
As a result, among the three of them, Zhu Zhiping seemed to be the calmest one, without feeling nervous at all. Humans, what is your purpose of spying on the City of Bones? In deathly silence, Yi Tianyuan broke the silence, and an indifferent and cold voice sounded without any emotion. Just as if, the three guys in front of me are not humans, but just three tiny ants. Um, our purpose is not to spy on this great existence, but... Tilan endured the terrifying pressure that gradually increased again and spoke slowly. But halfway through, he was stunned again. It's not spying, so what are they here to do, or something? Are you here to catch the autumn breeze or go sightseeing? Could it be that you came here to have a picnic and barbecue in the deep mountains and forests? Cold sweat suddenly dripped from Tilan's forehead. His back was already soaked with cold sweat. Look at the cold will o' the wisp in the eyes of the skeleton in front of you. Tilan took a deep breath and made a decision in his heart. I'm sorry. I apologize to you, the Great One. I just deceived you. Our arrival was indeed to inquire about the Bone City. Tilan bowed down respectfully and replied to Yi Tianyuan to express his sincere apology. Regarding the scene in front of him, Yi Tianyuan sneered slightly in his heart. He knew exactly what the other party was thinking. If it weren't for their own strength, they would be completely unable to resist, and they couldn't even think of resisting. Then the current situation may not be what it is now. I'm afraid, they have already started planning how to seize control of Bone City. After all, a mysterious city that can withstand the attack of zombies is still very tempting. However, because of the existence of Yi Tianyuan, naturally, the greed in their hearts was tightly suppressed in their hearts, and they did not dare to reveal any of it. In fact, he didn't even dare to express the idea of lying in front of Yi Tianyuan. I don't like people who lie, Yi Tianyuan said in a faint tone. Just one day ago, a person who lied to me paid a price. Perhaps you don't want to know what the price was. Hiss. A chill from the heart rushed from the soles of Tilan's feet to Tianling Gai. It made him feel as if he was in an ice cave, extremely cold. But soon, Tilan reacted, his face hardened, and he actually grabbed his left hand with his right hand and activated his ability. The entire right arm seemed to be made of metal. His strength more than doubled in an instant, and he pulled hard. Ah. A low and painful groan came from Tilan's tightly closed mouth. He gritted his teeth, veins popped out on his forehead, and his left arm was completely severed from his shoulder, torn off and thrown to the ground. The wound on his left arm quickly became metalized, stopping the flow of blood. Ha! Huh. Dot ha! Huh. Dot ha! Huh. Tilan gasped for air, looked up at Yi Tianyuan, and said. This is the price I pay for my stupidity. I don't know if you, the Great One, are satisfied. Yi Tianyuan looked at the man in front of him in slight surprise. Originally, I just wanted to put a little pressure on the other party and scare him so that he would not dare to lie to him. Then I can ask the guy in front of me where he comes from and what the current situation of the Human Federation is like. What I didn't expect was that this guy was so decisive and chose to cut off his arm to express his apology. Although a little unexpected, it seems that the effect is not bad. The most important thing is that although Tilan chose to cut off his arm to apologize, Yi Tianyuan did not detect the slightest resentment in the other party's eyes. This is one of the reasons why Yi Tianyuan does not plan to remove the three people. If anything, Yi Tianyuan could see the slightest bit of resentment or hatred in the other party's eyes or actions. He will wipe out the other party without hesitation. Yi Tianyuan will never allow tiger breeding to happen. Tilan's bloody behavior obviously shocked the other two people. Yu Wenfei, who was still lying on the ground pretending to be unconscious, now stood up with a rather ugly face. The superior I just recognized didn't lead me to show off my talents, but I hit a wall with this terrifying skeleton. In Yu Wenfei's heart, he now regarded Yi Tianyuan as his nemesis and nightmare. After this meeting, he would never touch anything related to Yi Tianyuan again to death. Not bad. Yi Tianyuan gave a rare compliment and then said. But you won't have a second chance to lie, even if I don't like killing humans. Yi Tianyuan's words made Tilan turn his eyes slightly and move his head. Don't like killing humans. Does that mean that this terrifying existence has a friendly attitude towards humans? Tilan thought silently in his heart. 
Although it can be concluded from the other party's words that Yi Tianyuan just killed one or several humans with his own hands yesterday. But, that's understandable. That's right. Tilin thought that was excusable. The reason is simple. The status between high-level creatures and low-level creatures is not equal. In the eyes of Tilin and others, Yi Tianyuan is like a god, terrifying and powerful, and absolutely cannot be competed by humans. To Yi Tianyuan, ordinary humans are just like ants. When the gods ask the ants, the ant deceived the other party without knowing whether to live or die. Then, being run over to death has become a normal thing. In the apocalypse, Tilin already has a profound understanding of the four words, the weak and the strong. Therefore, he thinks that Yi Tianyuan is actually friendly towards human beings. Even if it is not a friendly relationship, it is definitely not a hostile relationship. Otherwise, they would have no chance to stand here now. What Tilin didn't know was. The thoughts in his heart were completely deliberately guided by Yi Tianyuan. Yi Tianyuan releases the concept of friendliness, intentionally and unintentionally. The reason is for the more perfect, unification, plan in his mind. Now that we are here, how can we leave without giving them some gifts? Yi Tianyuan thought silently in his heart. Then, he began to figure out how to make them accept his gift with peace of mind. And this gift carefully prepared by Yi Tianyuan will be the source of turmoil that will cause Tilin's forces to split and segregate. Tell me, where are you from and why are you disturbing me? Yi Tianyuan asked again indifferently. Tilin had no intention of hiding anything this time, not because he was afraid of death. Instead, the magic city side needs to bring the information back alive. Especially for such a terrifying existence, if he fails to successfully bring the information back. Then the possible consequences will be unimaginable. Tilin himself has a good status in the magic city, and is favored by many big guys in the magic city and has their hopes in him. If he really died here, then, it is almost a no-brainer that the human federation in the magic city will definitely list Yi Tianyuan's bone city as a hostile force. It is even possible that evolutionary troops will be sent to conduct a second offensive test of 653. That's not what Tilin wants to see. The existence in front of you and its strength are simply something that people can only look up to and cannot even reach. I come from the Magic City Refuge and am considered an elite member of the Magic City Military Department. These two are my newly recruited subordinates in the center of Tianyu City. The purpose of my coming here this time is indeed to inquire about the relevant information about your White Bone City, and and to determine whether the white bone city is strong, and then go back to report the information. Tilin almost bit his tongue and said these words, and the cold sweat on his forehead never stopped flowing. In front of a high-ranking creature like Yi Tianyuan, he felt very embarrassed and ridiculous to say such words. Especially when it comes to saying that he is an elite in the military. Tilin's voice was countless times weaker, almost inaudible. In front of this skeleton, he, an elite, was like a laughing stock. But, the reason for saying such words is. Tilin is still a little cautious, that is, Kai Rui. Yes, he is showing weakness. Only after truly feeling Yi Tianyuan's desperate pressure did he understand what kind of gap there was between himself and the other party. I also know that to this skeleton, human beings are almost insignificant creatures that can be destroyed with a snap of a finger. If they are not in the same dimension, it is impossible to communicate on an equal footing. So, Tilin wants to reveal a piece of information to Yi Tianyuan, that is. Humans pose no threat to him. After all, you see, I am already regarded as the elite of mankind, but in front of you, I am vulnerable and cannot even compete with the pressure. What about the rest of humanity? Naturally, they are even more miserable. Yi Tianyuan has a keen eye for Tilin's tricks. Having evolved to the third level, he has become more thoughtful and thoughtful. How could he not see through the other party's intentions? However, this just followed Yi Tianyuan's wishes. Aren't you saying that humans are weak? Hash B4. I will give you a gift that can quickly make mankind stronger. Will you choose to reject it, or accept it? Yi Tianyuan showed an evil smile in his heart. He felt that he was just like a demon seducing an ignorant girl and falling into the abyss step by step. Finally, swallow the delicious soul in one gulp. In fact, this is not a simple metaphor, but Yi Tianyuan really does it. 
What a small human being. Are you already an elite with a being like you? You are not even as good as the pets I raise. Yi Tianyuan's voice was full of disdain, fully demonstrating his pride as a high-ranking creature. And now Yi Tianyuan does have the capital to be proud of. As the only third-level creature in the world, he has absolute power. And power is the right to speak in the end of the world. Faced with Yi Tianyuan's disdainful tone, and comparing himself with his pets. Not only did Tilin not feel the slightest bit aggrieved, but he felt a little happy. Since the other party is disdainful of human beings and does not think it is a threat. Well, it can at least prove something, as long as humans are not so stupid that they become enemies of each other. The other party will not be bored and want to deliberately trample a group of ants to death. Under the absolute strength gap Tilin's thoughts are so humble. Under this current situation, he will not talk ridiculously about the pride of being a human being, and would rather die standing than live on his knees. Behind Tilin are all the humans in the demon city. In order to allow humans to survive in the apocalypse, he does not care about his own dignity zero. Huh. Suddenly, Yi Tianyuan's tone changed slightly, but there was a hint of surprise. He waved his bone palm gently at Yu Wenfei, who was stiff and sluggish. Yu Wenfei's face suddenly changed drastically, and the fear in his heart instantly swept through his body, and even his breathing stopped. Am I going to die like this? Why, why do you have to kill me? I didn't do anything to hell. Yu Wenfei wanted to cry but had no tears. The first time he met Yi Tianyuan, Yi Tianyuan left an indelible nightmare in Yu Wenfei's heart. But now, Yu Wenfei's heart was completely despairing. Whoosh! A small bag, exuding a faint blue-black luster, flew into Yi Tianyuan's Yuan. With a slight stroke of the bone claw, the bag burst open, revealing two fantastic sources of evolution. Huh, it's okay. Fortunately, he didn't want to kill me. Yu Wenfei looked like he had been fished out of a pool. His clothes were soaked with cold sweat and he was about to collapse. He felt like he was walking through the gates of hell, and there was a deep sense of happiness in his heart that would lead to the rest of his life after death. Sure enough, you actually got this thing, and you haven't used it yet. It actually came in front of me. I have to say that what humans call fate is really a wonderful thing. I am really more and more interested in human civilization. Yi Tianyuan said with emotion as he played with the two media that he had modified by himself. Tilin, who was on the side, immediately noticed Yi Tianyuan's emotional changes, and his brain began to work rapidly. Are those two mysterious evolutionary crystals actually related to the skeleton in front of me? Perhaps, this will be an important factor in establishing a connection between humans and Yishan. Tilin's heart gradually became hotter, and he looked at Yu Wenfei and Zhu Zhiping with even more admiration. These two guys will turn out to be my lucky stars. Where did you get these two special evolutionary crystals? Yi Tianyuan asked again, with a tone that could not be refused. However, Yu Wenfei was still in the bliss of the rest of his life and did not react at all. Zhu Zhiping on the side heard Lord Bone Angel asking about the mysterious crystal. He immediately stood up excitedly. Dear Lord Angel, these two crystals were obtained from three strange women. In order to thank us for giving them defensive armor, they gave us this. Zhu Zhiping said excitedly, and at the same time, he patted the heavy armor he was wearing and made a clang sound. Obviously, the armor modified by Yu Wenfei using his mechanical ability has good defensive power. It turned out to be those three little guys. The will-o'-the-wisps in Yi Tianyuan's eyes flashed slightly, and his tone seemed a little emotional. When Tilin heard this, there was a trace of horror in his eyes. Those three little guys. There are actually three human women who have a good relationship with the skeleton in front of me. Tilin simply couldn't believe that the high-ranking creature in front of him would actually show different emotions to three human women. And it sounds quite doting. Dear Lord Angel, if I had known that they have a close relationship with you. We should have given them more equipment in the first place, but unfortunately they left in a hurry and we couldn't do anything to help them. Zhu Zhiping said slightly annoyed, with a look of regret in his eyes. For me, the noble Lord Angel actually interacted with three human women. And his failure to provide more help to those three people was his biggest failure. It's not like they are well connected. I see them as pitiful and gave them some strength. 
Yi Tianyuan seemed to have regained his composure and spoke indifferently. It seemed that helping the three Yingluan sisters was just a trivial matter, not worth mentioning. But, for Tilin, a thoughtful warrior, this made his heart tremble. Three human women, pitiful, given strength. Hiss. Tilin took a deep breath and looked at Yi Tianyuan with more and more awe. The skeleton in front of me is not only extremely powerful, but also has the ability to bestow strength on others. This, if the ordinary humans in the demon city knew about it. I'm afraid it will cause an uproar. Countless people will go crazy about it. After the end of the world, the most terrifying thing is not the zombies, but the human heart. Due to the emergence of evolvers, human beings gradually began to become hierarchical, which is inevitable. Although rapid research by the scientific research department found that ordinary people can also use the source of evolution to continuously strengthen themselves. But, compared with evolved people, ordinary people have no advantage at all. Even facing the most common zombies, ordinary people cannot compete. Unless they use firearms, it will be difficult to kill zombies. Evolvers, on the other hand, can easily kill zombies and obtain the source of evolution. This also leads to the gap between evolvers and ordinary people becoming wider and wider. The most important thing is that zombies are also constantly evolving. When there is class, there will be contradictions, and the human heart is the most terrifying thing. The more unattainable it is, the more they desire it. What is the most tempting thing in the apocalypse? Strength. Power is everything. With power, you can gain the respect of others, get a lot of resources, and get what you have always dreamed of. And this great being in front of him can bestow extraordinary power on mortals. As for what Yi Tianyuan said, look at how pitiful they are, I just gave them some strength. Tilin didn't really think that Yi Tianyuan just gave three human women the ability to protect themselves. When high-level creatures face low-level creatures, they are often proud. Now that he has chosen to help, Will he allow the things he gave him to be killed by other zombies, other monsters, or even humans? The answer is of course no. Perhaps. To the skeleton in front of him, the three little guys were like toys that interested him and gained his favor. He can throw his toys anywhere. However, you will never allow others to take it away. So, Tilin guessed that these three, toys, might already have the power to surpass the evolved ones. This is just the bottom line of his guess. Yi Tianyuan didn't know that what he said casually would cause countless thoughts in Tilin. If only you knew. He will definitely boast in his heart. I, Yi Tianyuan, originally called you the best brain helper. What are your names? Yi Tianyuan's voice sounded again. This time, Yu Wenfei did not continue to be stunned, because the other party's eyes turned to him and Zhu Zhiping. Dear Lord Angel, my name is Zhu Zhiping, your most loyal believer. When you save the survivors in the center of the city from fire and water, I will remember that scene in my heart. If possible, please let me serve you. I, Sha Yuan, will become your most loyal and humble servant. Zhu Zhiping spoke almost fanatically, his eyes full of devout faith. Ding! A fanatic follower of Lord Su 877 has been detected. Do you want to accept him as a slave and conclude a master-servant contract? The system prompt sound came slightly suddenly, but there was no problem. Deep in Yi Tianyuan's eyes, a faint will oh the wisp was burning. He didn't expect that his act of killing zombies in order to advance would lead to the birth of a fanatical believer of his own among humans. Moreover, it has been recognized by the system, which shows how terrifying this guy Zhu Zhiping is towards Yi Tianyuan's devout belief. I'm afraid, even Yi Tianyuan let the other party die. Zhu Zhiping might even commit suicide without hesitation. It is not surprising that people like Zhu Zhiping appear in the apocalypse. He is just an ordinary person. Because he has a good relationship with Yu Wenfei, the two, support each other, until now. However, ordinary people are ordinary people after all, and he deeply understands the gap between himself and Yu Wenfei. Even when he was pulled into Tilin's team, he still took advantage of Yu Wenfei. Such Zhu Zhiping will always have subtle changes in his heart. In such a situation, the appearance of Yi Tianyuan and his various actions. Yi Tianyuan has become a kind of spiritual sustenance for Zhu Zhiping. Just like how humans pray to gods and worship Buddha. But before the end of the world comes, they believe in illusory immortals and Buddhas. And now, 
Zhu Zhiping just put his faith in Yi Tianyuan, who is a high-ranking creature. Perhaps, this will be a good chess piece. Fanatic believers can make good use of it and conclude a contract. After thinking about it for a while, Yi Tianyuan chose without hesitation to let the system conclude a master-servant contract. Under the conditions of fanatic believers identified by the system, the invisible contract was easily concluded successfully, and no one discovered this. Even Zhu Zhiping himself was not aware of it at all. He didn't know that his life and death now depended entirely on Yi Tianyuan's thoughts. But even if he knew, Zhu Zhiping wouldn't care at all. The appearance of this fanatical believer came at just the right time. Coupled with the origin of the two mediums, it gave me even more reason to transform the two people in front of me into voids. Yi Tianyuan sighed slightly in his heart, everything just fell into place. T Lord Angel, my name is Yu Wenfei. Yu Wenfei was obviously extremely uncomfortable with this title, but in order to show respect, he still shouted it out. After all, he couldn't risk his life by calling the other person, Skeleton Monster, or White Knight Nightmare. Although, in Yu Wenfei's heart, Yi Tianyuan is such an image. Well, since you have obtained these two crystals, it means that the three little guys recognize you. Moreover, I admire human beings very much. You seem to have great potential, and I am very much looking forward to it. So, I created this thing that can allow living things to evolve. Even ordinary people can use it to become strong and even have power beyond the evolved ones. I like to see the ecstatic expressions of those tiny creatures after gaining power. It's so interesting, isn't it? Yi Tianyuan spoke in a faint tone. After Tilin and Zhu Zhiping heard these words, their breathing suddenly became rapid. Especially Zhu Zhiping, his eyes became more and more fanatical. In his eyes, Yi Tianyuan has completely become an omnipotent god at this moment. Getting this thing means that this is your opportunity, and you can come in front of me. In that case, let me help you little ones a little, otherwise, it will not be easy to succeed if this thing is absorbed directly. Yi Tianyuan's tone was slightly playful, but also deeply indifferent. Hearing such words, Tilin's eyes changed slightly, and a trace of cold sweat flowed down his forehead. From these simple words, he once again derived useful information. This special evolutionary crystal can allow people to evolve and gain powerful power, but it is also risky. Unless the skeleton in front of him can take action himself, the risk of evolution can be avoided. Such a question made Tilin frown deeply. He has realized the seriousness of the problem. However, it was naturally impossible to say it in front of Yi Tianyuan. The other party created a special evolutionary crystal out of interest, which can be regarded as a supreme gift. Can you still expect that the other party will help everyone who has obtained the crystallization of evolution to help them evolve? That kind of idea is simply ridiculous. What he worries about is that human greed may lead to horrific disasters. Yi Tianyuan didn't pay attention to Tilin's changing expression now. In his bone palm, two modified evolutionary crystals emitted a dreamlike blue-black halo. The energy within it, under Yi Tianyuan's control, became softer and no longer full of aggression. Go! Yi Tianyuan waved his bone palm lightly, and the medium transformed by Yi Tianyuan to be more perfect instantly floated to the chests of Zhu Zhiping and Yu Wenfei. They couldn't refuse at all, so they merged directly into the body. An inexplicable aura instantly came out of the two people's bodies. A strange blue-black halo enveloped the two of them like two big cocoons. Among them, within the huge cocoon of light, the bodies of the two people began to change significantly. On Yu Wenfei's body, the exoskeleton began to grow out of his body, turning into something like a modern armor, slowly wrapping his body. The back of the armor even has a structure similar to a firearm. There was no mask on his face, but instead something like a helmet grew out, covering his entire head. The virtual hole appeared in Yu Wenfei's heart. After completing such a change, the light blue halo surrounding Yu Wenfei gradually dissipated. The source of evolution and the power of virtuality have been completely integrated into Yu Wenfei's body. And at this moment, his strength has grown by leaps and bounds from level 0 to level 9 to level 9. Yu Wenfei originally had a rather ugly face because Yi Tianyuan forcibly integrated the medium into his body. I was speechless with excitement at this moment, and my face was full of excitement. 
He could clearly feel the majestic power in his body. Moreover, the exoskeleton that completely covers his body can perfectly fit his own mechanical abilities, allowing him to exert even greater strength. Yu Wenfei looked at Yi Tianyuan again, and his expression gradually changed. This high-ranking creature that I was extremely afraid of, and even tried to stay away from, had given me even more powerful power. This made Yu Wenfei's thoughts extremely complicated. Just quickly, Yu Wenfei's attention was attracted by the large cocoon that was still glowing on the side. His eyes were full of surprise. Zhu Zhiping, who also merged with himself into a special evolutionary crystal, has his evolution not ended yet. And, the aura coming out of the light cocoon is still getting stronger, and it has actually surpassed him. How is this, getting money, possible? Yu Wenfei exclaimed in disbelief. This guy who was protected by himself all the way and survived, the aura in his body at this moment is stronger than himself. Even the improvement of the aura has no intention of stopping. Even Tielin on the side, as a 0 level and 9th level elite evolver, is only one step away from the first level. The aura in his body is far inferior to that of Zhu Zhiping, who is still evolving. A mortal actually surpassed the evolver at this moment. The shock level brought by this deeply stimulated the hearts of both of them. Looking at the two people in front of them, their faces were full of shock and disbelief. Yi Tianyuan smiled secretly in his heart. Just kidding, even though Zhu Zhiping is just an ordinary person, he doesn't have the talent of an evolver. As long as he is willing, Yi Tianyuan can even train Zhu Zhiping into a second level creature. It's just that it's not cost effective to do that. Compared with Yu Wenfei, Zhu Zhiping is a fanatical believer and has even signed a master servant contract. Of course Yi Tianyuan wants Zhu Zhiping to gain more powerful power. Not just because of that. Yi Tianyuan has other plans. Just imagine, an ordinary person, and an evolver. They also use the evolutionary crystal modified by Yi Tianyuan, and as a result, ordinary people actually surpass the evolvers in strength. How terrifying is this? Once it spreads, it will definitely cause all ordinary people to go crazy. In the end of the world, no one cannot seek powerful power. In particular, they can use special evolutionary crystals to surpass evolvers who were originally out of their reach. Completely breaking the superiority of evolved people over ordinary people. Oh 06. This point can be seen from the faces of Tilan and Yuanfei, and they have the best feedback. Click, click. Above the huge blue-black light cocoon, there was actually a sound like a broken egg shell, slowly cracking. A strange figure appeared in the eyes of Tilan and Yuanfei. And Yi Tianyuan, the will-o'-the-wisp in his eyes flickered slightly. It has evolved into such a posture. Not only is it a complete hollow, but it has also integrated its identity as a servant into its own evolution. It is indeed extremely pious. Yi Tianyuan admired slightly in his heart. If you say before. Originally, in Yi Tianyuan's heart, Zhu Zhiping was still a good chess piece. So now, Zhu Zhiping's status has risen to that of a qualified servant. The gap in between is not that big. At least in Yi Tianyuan's heart, his attitude towards chess pieces and servants is different. Chess pieces can be thrown at will. But qualified servants are rare and worth cultivating. Hiss. Sounds of gasping came from the mouths of Tilin and Yuanfei. Their eyeballs were filled with two words, shocked. The Zhu Zhiping in front of him was covered in a pale exoskeleton, and the exoskeleton was covered with sharp barbs. His hands turned into bone claws as sharp and dexterous as Yi Tianyuan. On his back, wings similar to those of Yi Tianyuan appeared, but without the light blue thunder pattern. Zhu Zhiping's empty hole is located in the middle of his chest. And his face was completely covered by a pure white bone surface. The bone surface was smooth and round, making Zhu Zhiping look like a faceless man at this moment. But, on the top of the bone surface, black lines form a font, servant. The reason why Yi Tianyuan looked at Zhu Zhiping with admiration was entirely because of the word, no. Even, from the appearance, he also has a certain similarity with Yi Tianyuan. Just as Zhu Zhiping calls Yi Tianyuan the, bone angel. Then, he turned himself into a servant of the angel, just like in the myth, becoming a servant angel under the archangel. Lord angel, your loyal and humble servant, thank you for the power you bestow. After completing evolution. 
Zhu Zhiping knelt down in front of Yi Tianyuan respectfully and spoke sincerely. And at this time, Tilin and Yu Wenfei were still shocked by Zhu Zhiping's strength. First level. I have definitely entered the first level. Otherwise I would not have felt such pressure. Tilin kept roaring in his heart, as if he wanted to tell himself that this was all fake. However, the real pressure left him speechless. Two small evolutionary crystals instantly created a Yu Wenfei of the same level as himself. What's even more terrifying is that it allows an ordinary person to leap to the first level in an instant, a level that even the two of them have dreamed of but have not yet reached. In Tilan's heart, he couldn't tell whether he was jealous or bitter. In short, at this moment, a desire for that special source of evolution also arose in his heart. As for the changes in the appearance of Yu Wenfei and Zhu Zhiping. In fact, Tilan didn't pay attention at all. The end of the world is coming, although the number of evolvers is generally not high. But under the huge base, there are still many evolvers. They have all kinds of weird abilities, and there are quite a few who have had physical mutations. For example, Tilan himself, his ability is to make his whole body metal, exerting terrifying defense power and good attack power. Therefore, in his opinion, the physical changes of Yu Wenfei and Zhu Zhiping were ordinary things. Yes, it seems that the source of evolution modified by me has a good effect on humans, interesting, interesting. There was a ghostly fire in Yi Tianyuan's eyes, and his voice was deliberately filled with a little emotion. Turn your attention to Tilan. Tilan immediately sat upright, not daring to show the slightest disrespect. And Yi Tianyuan's eyes at this moment were as if he were looking at a perfect test subject. Tilan's heart suddenly trembled, and a terrible idea suddenly came to his mind. Could it be that he really regards us humans as guinea pigs for hobbies and interests? Changing the way we evolve 930 seems to give him a feeling of pleasure. Once such an idea is born, it can never be erased. Tilan's eyes gradually became complicated. Facing a being like Yi Tianyuan, human beings are nothing more than ants to him. And the experiment driven by the other party's interest can actually greatly increase the strength of human beings, allowing ordinary people to become evolvers, half empty, half empty. However, Tilan is confused now. Should humans willingly become each other's guinea pigs in order to gain power? In fact, he already had the answer to this question in his mind, but he was very reluctant to admit it. Human beings are really good materials. Creatures that were originally as weak as ants can actually have such potential after absorbing my specially made evolutionary crystals. Yi Tianyuan spoke quietly and continued. In this case, let's select some potential humans to become my test subjects. I wonder if you are willing to complete such a task for me. Faced with Yi Tianyuan's undeniable tone, Tilin's face showed a bitter and confused smile. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.